everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve the square minus 1 into y equals to sin x. Solution. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. This square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given equation as d square y minus 1 into y is y equals to sin x. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx and d square is d square by dx square. Then you can write the equation as d square y by dx square minus y equals to sin x. Identify the highest derivative here. d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Right? Now coming to the problem. We are given a differential equation which is in operator form. Given differential equation. D square minus 1 into y equals to sin x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 1 and q equals to sin x. Now we need to find the general solution to this given non-homogeneous equation using y equals to yc plus yp we will find yc complementary function using roots of auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation simply by taking rhs to 0 we will get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and you will find yp using 1 by f of d into q so firstly let's find yc using the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of d equals to d square minus 1 just replace this differential operator d by m then we will get f of m equals to m square minus n sorry m square minus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 1 equals to 0. Just write this 1 as 1 square. Now this becomes a minus b, a square minus b square form, right? We can write this as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. From m plus 1 equals to 0, you get m equals to minus 1. From m minus 1 equals to 0, you get m equals to 1. Then, m will be equals to minus 1 and 1. Okay? m equals to minus 1 and 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to minus 1, 1 are the roots of are auxiliary equation which are real and distinct. We know that when two roots are real and distinct then the complementary function will be c1 constant 1 constant into e power 1 root into x plus c20 e power another constant sorry Another constant into e power, another root into x. Now we can write complementary function to our problem. This is given by y is equal to 1 constant into e power 1 root into x plus another constant to e power another root, so plus 1 into x. Then y c equals to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x is a complementary 
function. Now let's find yp. We know that we can find particular integral using 1 by f of t into q, which is equals to 1 by d square minus 1 into q sin x. So this is a 1 by f of d into sin ax form for a equals to 1. We need to find d square which is given by minus a square equals to minus 1 square, right, for a equals to 1, which is equals to minus 1. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1 in the denominator. We have, we should get always the denominator not equals to 0, okay. Minus 1, minus 1, which is equals to minus 2, which is not equals to 0, so we can replace d square by minus 1 square, which is equals to minus 1. Which gives 1 by minus 1 minus 1 into sine x, right? We'll just replace d square by minus 1 or write this step, the same steps. Equals to 1 by minus 2 into sine x, which is equals to, you can write 1 by minus 2 as minus 1 by 2 into sine x or minus 1 by 2 into sine x, which is our yp. So we have yp equals to minus 1 by 2 into sine x. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc, c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x plus yp minus 1 by 2 into sine x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.